it's a hard one because as a beginner you have something to offer simply like that's the simple answer is at any stage of the journey you have something to offer it's just whether people are willing to see it or not um, so it's not it's not uh, your problem like you stepping into the cipher and that them not watching it's it's more their problem is that maybe they're maybe they're just in their own mind and I think that's something that is kind of looked over a lot is that uh, most people are self-absorbed you know <laughs> I think we all are to some extent so it's uh, most people are just thinking about themselves so it's not really disrespectful in the sense that they're looking away from you they're just in their own mind you know we project especially in a circle or with our peers is we project what they're thinking we don't know what they're thinking you know and that's what I always felt like the jungle gym of street dance is the cypher because you're 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 getting tossed and turned by your your mind your, your thoughts are going back and forth you see someone look away from you you see someone walk away from the cypher and you feel it as visual performing artists we're sensitive to our environment typically we're like feelers most of us so we get affected by that we also get affected when people are cheering and hyping us up we don't want to get too caught up in projecting what we think other people are thinking you know um, at the end of the day we're only in control of our own mind we're not in control of how people think of us we're not in control of how people are going to react and like through my travels you know I, you deal with um, people expecting a lot from you that's something that grows from a beginner you know where you have no expectations and for me that felt great I was like oh yo, know, maybe I don't have much to offer but uh, at least nobody expects anything from me <laughs> and then on the opposite end when you start to get better people expect it or you're maybe you're paid to go to a place or you you've traveled the battle and now they expect a super high level out of you because um, yeah that's just what they expect from somebody that's traveling so it, it works both ways but the, at the end of the day we have to find our flow right we have to find our flow state and when you're a beginner it's really important that you keep going out and testing your mind and to see if you can access your your flow state your freestyle state of mind in those stressful situations of people that are high level when you're a beginner like one thing that I started to do more recently was when beginners would come out I get super inspired one because I know how hard it is two they're less they're ne they're less censored they're more raw they make mistakes and that's sometimes that's what what um, is uh, the most inspiring is when somebody makes a mistake or they do something new it's outside that box of of what is expected you know so it's a surprise you don't know what's gonna happen mm -hmm. you, but that's also like those things being raw and uncensored or less politicized and like oh this is this style and this is that style this person's just going out and feeling the music you know if they can get to that point if they can get past their thoughts of what other people might be thinking because that's the first step how do you get past all that projection all that insecurity that you may be feeling about where your skill levels at getting past that and then at the end of the day dance is just you and the music you know it's you and the music and whoever you decide to invite in with you you know mm -hmm. whether you look at somebody and you start vibing with them or you know or you're exchanging with somebody but the medium is the music and so if you can get past all your thoughts people are going to be connecting you through the music here's everybody here's you and there's a bridge and that bridge is the music 
So if you can if you can attach to the music, you're speaking everybody's language. Everybody's. Yeah. No matter where you're from. When you're dancing to the sound of people's expectations, that that is the sound you're moving to. The projection of what you think other people are thinking. If you're if you're doing that, you're not dancing to the music. So second step is dancing with both of them. You mm -hmm. dance with the expectations a little bit, and then you dance to the music. And then eventually it will lead you into dancing purely with the music. But that takes skill. That takes time. That takes practice. It takes practice. It takes practice navigating that insecurity and stress. It has to become a habit. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Don't let the thoughts become louder than the music. <laughs>